This is Betty, and I would like to show you another one of my journals that I've just recently made. <clears throat> this is six by eight. Uh, it's held together with an organza ribbon. Uh, it's a clasp envelope cover, and I've got some designer paper on it. There's a card, a playing card with Tim Holtz, little girl, sitting on it. And uh, I've got Clooney ribbon, excuse me, Clooney lace on the binding. And I've got the same type of designer paper on the back. This is six by eight. Okay, let's take a look at the inside. This is not a tuck or anything or a pocket. This is just all glued down. And now my dog is going to start barking. Okay, we're on the inside. This is designer paper. I've got some stamping, some script stamping here. Some music paper, cardstock card stock paper, got a guest check, postcard, and this is a postcard pocket, and I'm trying to get lined up here with my video, some ledger paper, a tab, this is a chenille piece from a chenille um, bedspread. Script stamping. And some stamping here. This is, uh, all the pages have been copy dyed. Some stamping in there. This is just a little collage. Fabrics and um, music paper and some uh, pattern paper. My dogs are playing. Sorry for the background noise. Dictionary paper. This is a page from a magazine. Some cherries. And I used it because it had this great lined section on the back. A little corner tuck. With a little card inside with map stamp on the front. And this can be used for secret journaling here on the corner. Oh, and the corners of this page have been, whoops, I turned two pages at one time. Go back. Alright, this is where the little corner tuck was. Okay, turn one page. I did it again. Okay, this is some designer paper, and the corners of the designer paper have been corner punched. You can see that. Alright, and then we have some ledger paper, and then we have a little paper bag with a little uh, collage, and inside that we have some little pieces of craft paper, and a little journaling card, uh, a little tablet with some random pieces of paper in it for a little notebook, and a little journaling card. Just some random pieces that you can journal on. Some fun things. And of course these can be moved around throughout the book, be clipped to different places. This is a piece of designer paper, and the corners have been paper punched again. Uh, this is a loose uh, time card that has a uh, collage attached and some uh, and a secret journaling spot there. A little flip out. And this too can be moved and also can be journaled on the back of it. And this is the center. It's a three hole pamphlet stitch. 
And this is the back side of the paper bag. And it has another paper bag inside it that has been made into a little place that's got some little uh, piece of guest check in it, some pieces of cardstock that are like journaling cards. It's got uh, some random pieces of paper in it. And there's a pocket right here. And it's just another fun place for some more journaling. And some more ledger paper. It's the back side of the designer paper with the punched corner. Another uh, collage tab. The back side of that magazine page with the journaling page, journaling lines. Copy dyed paper. And usually in all of my junk journals for some reason, I add a, a recipe. And in this one you get a recipe for eggless, milkless, butterless cake. So that ought to be interesting. I have not tried all of these recipes that I share, so <laughs> and we have a little collage down here and this is on a guest check and then this is just a little paper punched goodie that I've added in here and um, let me see this opens up and those slips in here and this is some more of my copy dyed paper. A bingo card that has been glued on the page. Another one of my um, collages. The back side of the pink cardstock. The music page. And this is my tag that said, or sticker that says along the shore studio thank you for looking and I appreciate you uh, looking at this video and I hope to talk with you again soon thank you bye bye